Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, guys, what we're going to cover for tonight's episode is a little out of the norm. There is an article that's all about the main gun control access point in the Senate, Mark Kelly from Arizona, in Politico of all places, saying they might be losing. This is a really big deal because if you've been watching what we've been covering, Arizona has always been the one they've considered safe on the Democrat side. Well, everything is linked in the description box below, and I cannot wait to hear what you guys think about this one because they are officially freaking out. Wait till you hear some of the Democratic quotes in this bad boy. I'm going to say a quick word from our sponsor, Established Titles, and then we're going to dive in. I can't wait to hear what you think. The Established Title Packs give you one square foot of dedicated land in an estate in Eddleston, Scotland, along with a certified crest like you see right here. This is based on a historic Scottish custom, which will allow landowners to become lords or ladies and... If you act now, you can be in the LOA little plot so we can have our own little fiefdom. This is a fun and novel way to preserve the woodlands of Scotland. They work with global charities, one tree planted, and trees for our future to support global reforestation efforts. You could officially change your name to Lord or Lady and get it on your plane tickets and also on your credit cards. This makes a great last minute gift and they have couple packs which you can get adjoining plots of land together. In order to give the ultimate conversation piece for that special someone, Established Titles is running a massive sale right now. Plus, if you use the code Langley, you get an additional 10% off. Go to EstablishedTitles.com slash Langley to support the channel now. All right, so as I mentioned, guys, we're going to dive into this article. I know it's not the weekend, but we are so close to the midterms. I've got to show you this information. And if you're in Arizona, you've got to get out and vote, get your friends to vote and activate because this right here, you have a chance and it is a glorious opportunity. All right, enough of the setup. Let's get into here and I'm going to show you how these Democrats are freaking out. GOP leaps back into contention in Arizona Senate race. Now, you know this is from Politico and one of my rules on this channel. If the left-wing Politico is writing, they're writing to a left-wing audience. They're writing to Democrats. They're either trying to manipulate perception or they're trying to cushion the blow. In this case, they are sounding the alarm hardcore and cushioning the blow. Check this out. This is crazy. Now, this came out about day, day and a half ago. Just a month ago, after national Republicans appeared to give up on Arizona Rep um, Republican Blake Masters, the Trump-backed Senate candidate has staged a comeback, and Arizona is in play. This is Politico. Now, the importance of Arizona is Arizona's uh, senator in question here, Mark Kelly. Mark Kelly is the husband of Gabby Giffords. Giffords.org has a direct line to the Senate and the White House through Mark Kelly. If that root, that tree gets ripped out by the roots... Gabby Giffords doesn't have a direct line into the Senate as close as her husband. This is a big deal for all of us nationally on the gun rights side. But check out what they're saying because this is interesting. National and Arizona Democratic operatives are privately fretting that incumbent Senate Mark, Senator Mark Kelly is endangered, noting a shift by previously undecided voters towards the GOP, aided by a patchwork of new Republican spending to bolster Masters. Recent polling has shown Kelly's lead shrinking to a few points, much tighter than the surveys showed throughout August and September. Keep in mind, this was written a day, no, two days ago. It was a handful of points, three points they referenced. We'll look at the most recent polling from Trafalgar. It's within a point. That is well within the margin of error and also well within the GOP underestimation in the polling. This is a big deal, Arizona. You have an opportunity to really deliver a blow to gun control for the rest of us. But let's keep going. Let me show you what Real Clear Politics has. Masters versus Kelly. It's a toss-up state. Kelly's ahead by 2.5, and the GOP pickup is what's slated. Real Clear Politics, which aggregates all the polls, is saying that they expect Masters to win because of the underestimation of the GOP representation in the polling and the momentum, the momentum and trajectory of the GOP candidate. This is a big deal, Arizona, because we've got two weeks to go till the election. Here's the Democratic freakout talking points. Listen to this. Quote, There's a very narrow path to victory for Democrats in Arizona, said Roy Herrera, a Democratic election attorney and consultant in the state, locally in the state. Very narrow path. Any poll that shows the Democrats are doing any better than a low or mid-single digits is probably not accurate or won't be maintained through the election cycle. Do you understand how massive that is? Openly telling Politico, and then Politico is publishing that, that, hey, uh, yeah, it's probably a lot closer than any of the polls are suggesting, along with all the other data that we have and the national headwinds. Yeah, this is something. Let's get to another quote. This is powerful stuff. 
A Democrat close to the Kelly campaign said Arizona should never have been considered safe for the party this year, even as Masters struggled earlier in the general election. We talked about that on this channel. Quote, we believe this is a race that's within a point in either direction, and there's still a good chance that we would lose, the person said. And it's important people understand that. From inside the Democratic operation, that's now two Democratic strategists and operatives saying, uh, red flags? Holy crap. Why, why are we considering this safe? They're not considering it safe anymore, and that is huge. And here is my last one. This one is probably the best, which is why I saved it for last. Quote, it's going to be tighter, Coughlin said, noting Kelly is still outperforming Masters with unaffiliated voters. Quote, what we see is Mark and all the Democrats continuing to perform well among that cohort of voters and winning them fairly well, but probably not well enough to go to sleep. They're talking about the independent voters that are breaking in their minds from 20 points down to 10 points for Kelly on the Democratic side. Meanwhile, everything is shifting in trajectory to the Republicans. Not to mention that this lead is eroding for Kelly, for the Democrat there, you know, connected to Gabby Giffords, Giffords.org. It's eroding and they are spending three times the money the Republicans are. This is pretty big, people. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I will see you on the next episode. I'm Braden. See you later.